What an amazing gift prayer is. To be able at any moment, in any time, any place, to be able to step in to the presence of God, to become aware of the one who made all the universe and the one who loves us. When we pray, we are connected to God. He knows our inmost thoughts, he knows our fears, but we can commit them to him and we can trust that he is bigger than anything that we are afraid of and that he loves us more than anybody else and loves the people we love more than we do even. Sometimes though when we pray, we pick it up again, we leave it at the cross and then immediately we're worrying about it again and we haven't really left it. The Bible calls God's goodness to us grace and I've created a visual aid to help me to remember God's grace, God's goodness and his faithfulness. It's this, I call this the well of God's grace. Inside it are lots of bits of paper and on these pieces of paper I've written the names of people that need pr prayer, people who I care about, people that I don't even know but I, I believe God needs to touch and also situations, you know, such as the locusts in Africa, such as the Rohingya refugees, such as the coronavirus, and I place them into the well of God's grace. And every day I can pick this up and I can pray and say, God, please bless all the people and all the situations in the well of your grace. And then when I'm tempted to worry, I can look at it and go, God's dealing with it. A wise person once said that if prayer is the key to heaven, then faith is, is, the, is what unlocks the door. If I get that right. If prayer is the key to heaven, faith is what unlocks the door. So let's all of us in this week of prayer trust that God is dealing with it. And just as evidence for that, here is another visual aid. This is what I do when the prayers are answered. I put them in here. So this is also the well of God's grace. These are answered prayers. So bless you this week as we pray for thy kingdom come.